Hi there, this is Marissa from digitalscrapbook.com and I am going to try to choose a color palette with you here. We are just going, we're planning to start our designer madness for November 2023 in about a week. And so first thing we have to do is everyone needs to choose a color palette. And I thought I would go ahead and try to choose a color palette here while I am talking to you. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'm just on Pinterest here and I've just typed in color palette and I'm just going to look and see what catches my eye. Um, my screen here is really big, so I'm getting a lot of colors. This looks kind of fun here. Um, in general, I'm looking for um, something not too bright usually or at least if there are some bright colors you do also I feel like want some um, kind of lighter colors I'm always looking for pastels because if you're just you know using something always really bright it's just gonna feel uh, probably overwhelming um, although you know that's not always true and sometimes it's fun to be big and bold um, and this is kind of fun because this will be kind of a smaller kit for me. I might try something um, that I wouldn't normally try. Like this here is quite, I, I mean, what even are these colors? I usually like colors that I can look at and call them by their name. And these colors here are all just kind of like, I don't know what those colors are. So that would be kind of something different for me. And I'm also thinking that I want a more limited color palette so maybe like five or six colors um this these ones are pretty i like these ones too um oh and here's purple i was thinking maybe i would just do a purple kit um oh, i like these greens um so usually uh, the more colors i find is better if i'm going to be doing like a lot of illustrations a lot of things like that but in general, when I'm making a kit, I do find that probably five or six colors, not including like black and white and maybe like a neutral brown or something, is probably about what you want. Um, so this one here would be really, because they've already included like a tan. Um, that looks kind of fun too. Okay, so now we're just randomly opening stuff up. I've probably opened up enough. Now often when I'm choosing a... a uh, a color palette for um, you know that I'm going to use to make one of my larger bundles I'll probably try to combine a few palettes together um, and usually I'll find that like say I've opened a few that you know might go together but these all feel kind of different and um, none of these really can I feel like can be combined a lot of times I'll have kind of like a vibe going and you can see that like there are <laughs> things going together um, these are nice too I don't know here what this is fun I like these lighter colors here with these kind of bold colors this feels nice and I'm trying I'm just trying to think of like what colors I've used recently this would be really interesting and feels kind of November for me this one I like, but you can see this one actually is kind of similar. See, we have blues and greens and pinks, but they're just kind of different. This one is more muted, um, and this one is brighter. So this is a good chance for me here to just kind of feel like, am I feeling kind of moody? And the answer is no. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to close that one because I'm not going to... This feels very... Is this too spring for November? It doesn't really matter. Um, and I like... I like the limited colors here quite a lot. I like this yellow. This has like no purple and no pink in it, which is would be a rare choice for me. This I think I don't like as much as I like that one. And this is very purple, which I was kind of like, oh, maybe I should just make a purple kit. Oh, look at this one with orange and yellow. Okay, let's see here. What are we thinking? I like that. Am I going to like that? I could like that. I could like that. I think I like that more than that. That gives you just a little more excitement. Um, okay, so a lot of times, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do any. So like in, in general, if I'm, you know, make, picking a kit, I would come on here and you can see it's going to pull up all these other palettes. And so you can see here, if you look here, this one's going to give you some more shades. And so I would probably try to include, I might try to include both of these blues here. 
or at least something a little lighter than this blue just to kind of give a little more um, variety. This one has a lot of neutrals, so I might try to combine that in um, if I'm working, you know, for a bigger palette. You know, so you can come in here and then you can kind of see, you can compare like this palette with this palette. I would just download them, um, which we can go ahead and do and look at them. We'll just say save image and then this one go here. You know, so we can just save these here. And then I just have to find my my palette. Um, I have a little template that I use. We can find it here. It'll be here. Okay, so we'll get that opened. And then we need to find those things I downloaded. Oh boy, I got too much stuff in here. Um, where even are they? Okay, so there we go. So I bring these in here and then I would probably start comparing them. Um, here, because you can see that these have very similar, but maybe, you know, you can see these blues here and you can see like if you, which blue you kind of prefer. The same with the greens, you can compare them. This is a really bright yellow. This is a lighter yellow. And then this one includes red. This one doesn't include red, and I would probably add in the red if I was going to use this for a digital scrapbooking kit just to kind of, you know, give me some more colors to work with. This is actually feeling very nice. Oh, okay, here, let's rotate this, and then we can start going for it. Um, so I would probably just start copying these and then filling them here, but not all of them, just one. And I like this. You can see these colors are really, so if I, I could decide if I want something a little brighter, or do I want, those are different enough actually that you could do both of those. Um, so that's a really nice range there. Um, and then we have this yellow. I want to see if I that yellow. So this yellow, what we might want to do is make it a little lighter here. All right. Um, you know, I think I might want that. If I bring it up here, it's going to be a little brighter. Okay, that's good. And then I like... Ooh, which of these greens do I like? I don't know. I can't... These, I think, are probably too close to use both of them. Um, but I like this dark one here. Yeah, i got to get these out of the way because we're moving over. All right, so now we've got blue. Oh, this one does have a light blue. Oh, we're on the wrong color thing there. Okay, that one. That one. I think I like this one better. We've got blues, and then um, we've got this nice gray here that's not really gray. It's kind of purple. And now we've got this one here, which I'm just going to act like I can see that. And honestly, that's probably... Pretty good. All right, so that is a pretty good color combination. I like this. I don't think I'm going to use it for November. I might save this and use this in the future <laughs> for a perhaps a bigger project. Um, I can, I'll try to share this with you in the forums um, if you're interested in that. I think for this so let's see, I'm not going to use that one because I just put these together. And I feel like I'm already out on that one because there's not enough colors. And so I think I'm either going to do this one or I'm going to do this one. Or, oh, look at this one. Nope, but see, at a certain point, they all look nice. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to save these. <laughs> and I'm going to close. Oh, although look, there's some more purple here with some more orange. Is that orange close enough? This one, I like this yellow here more. All right, so I'm going to feel good about what I've done. Ooh, but I like this one. I'm going to save this one just in case um, because I might go through and, oh boy, now I'm getting lots of purple options. Ooh, look at that. Okay, we got to we gotta turn it off now. Anyway, <laughs> I will make my final decision, I guess, as a secret, and you can hopefully see um, in my next video, I'll hope to make some start the prompts um, and I will hopefully have my colors chosen 
and we can go forth together and make some great digital scrapbooking kits this month. Um, thanks so much for listening to this. If you made it to the end, good job. I'm impressed. Um, and I look forward to seeing what you made.